First thing is the Somerset flagpole. I was asked to put that on the agenda. Somerset flagpole, so that is, WPRF has flagpoles at both the clubhouses and it's security's job to take care of the flagpoles to make sure that the flags are in good condition and that there's proper lighting that's working and they are the ones to lower it at half mast. You know, they get announcements as to anything that's going on in the country and, and they get it done. Um, it was a resident that put this flagpole in at Somerset. Right. Well, so the question is, and I think that's, <clears throat> do you want us to keep that going, send security over there? I don't even know that we have electrical and that there's lighting on that flag, so that means it has to come down every day. So I think this is something that was asked to be put on the agenda, and you d tell me what you want to do and I'll get it done. Eva, <laughs> where is that flagpole located? It's it's um, it's closer to the tennis court fence, yes. and it is. If you're facing the the uh, bathrooms, it is on the back side of the pool toward the oh, bathroom. So it's back in that area over there. It's all really almost invisible. I don't know that a lot of people even notice it. <coughs> Eva, yes. What would, how much cost would it entail? Do we know? I ha I don't. I cannot say that we have electrical out there. So what I'm saying is, we can work around that. It just means that the flag comes down <coughs> every day. It cannot be left up overnight. It has to be lit. Without a light. Right. So we can, you know, and then if we yeah. want to in the next budget year, we can certainly add electrical. But it would just mean taking it down every day. <laughs> it's on our property. It's, right, it's, it's on, on our property. It was just not installed by us. It was installed by a resident. It was before my time, and I don't even know that they were given permission. Go I have ahead, no John. idea how it got to be there. John? Yes, yeah, stand up. Go ahead. How many pools have flagpoles? None uh, outside of this one. None of the WPRF pools. Why is it necessary we have this? If there's no, if there's no facilities for it, it's not wired for it. Uh, and it was erroneous, not to say erroneously, but illegally installed in the first place. Right, so I have not been, we've not been keeping a flag out there. That, that was my choice. And so, but we've been getting complaints because we're very patriotic people and many that have served. And so to see a flagpole that doesn't have a flag on it, I understand, is upsetting. So either we decide we're going to uh, maintain it and send security out there, and maybe even pay the money to get the electrical put in, or we take it out. So I guess that's what's before you today, is which way do you want to go with that? Go ahead. <coughs> when Speak up, the PRF puts up a flagpole, is there an understanding what flag will be flown? American, yes, the American flag. I mean, is that understood by everyone? I don't know if it is or not. This flagpole, I don't know. You live in Somerset. <clears throat> Has there been ever been anything other than an American flag that no, flew? No, no, but our population is changing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. How can we make a decision without knowing the courts? Well, we, we can. <clears throat> I just want it understood by everyone that when. WPRF puts up a flagpole, it is the American flag. And that would be true. And I understand what you're saying because I know people have put up different signs, especially now that we're coming into a presidential election. Mm -hmm. So again, we've done nothing with it, but people are pushing us to do something with it. So it's a, it's a, right now we can take care of the fact that there is no electrical by making sure that security takes the flag down every day. All right, so there's really no cost there, but it's a yes, David. Considering the fact that we don't have flagpole and that you mentioned it's not really in a, a dominant position where it is, uh, you know, you, you put one if, if we you know electrify that and we, we put it in, then how are we going to do it all the pools? I, you know, my my recommendation is is that we get the pole out. I don't agree with that. So. Okay, thank you. What is the motion? It's a democracy. Can <coughs> somebody please make a motion? Yes, sir. Can I make a motion? Yeah, I think the motion that no, the flagpole that was 
place illegally, probably, and, yeah, uh, by a resident of Somerset that it be removed by WPRF. I thought you could make a negative motion. I was making a motion to remove the flag. To remove the flag. That's a positive motion. To remove the flag. Anybody want to second that? We have a second. Any more discussion? I'd like to move on. Now's the time to discuss it. I disagree with the removing of the flagpole. I think it should be, we should find out what it would cost to put electricity there. And in the meantime, UCO will supply a flag and we'll have security put it up and down on a daily basis until we can make an educated decision. Because removing that flagpole might cost you more than to run electric to it. So is anybody seconding? Yeah, we got a first and a second. We have to vote on that motion. Bob I'm sorry. We're discussing it. Okay. The, uh, not, okay. Knowing, not knowing where where the flagpole is, is actually located offhand, but depending on what it would cost to run electricity. That's what I just said. To it, 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 running to it, would it be cheaper to relocate the pole? And put it in a handier in a handier right. place. I, it would require finding out if there was an actual permit to put the pole right. up, and then getting a permit to move the pole. Right. It would be easier to find out how far the electric is and what it would cost to do that. So but in the meantime, there should be a flag there every day. Well, we have a motion and we have a second. Go ahead, Bobby. I believe as a resident of Somerset, a number of the buildings already have their own flag holes in front of their building. I think one in the center is redundant. I would also just make the remark that if we were to make the effort to put in lighting, let's say, um, that other pool areas might request that right. they have it at their pools. Well, that's what you said. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is just something to consider. It may not end here. So. Uh, but considering the fact that you said that other pools, other buildings have, yes, if yes, they so. didn't, I would say it's a good idea because we're very patriotic and we have one, but we pay for it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So we'll vote on whether to remove it or not. I mean, you can have this discussion over and over again. It's really a matter of what's logical and um, cost if. You know, effective, and that's what we should be voting on. Call the question. So, call the, does that, any more discussion? So we can make <coughs> any more discussion on that? <laughs> call the motion. Okay. Second by Bobby Levin to remove the flagpole at the Somerset pool area. What's going on? Okay. Maureen Desmond. Ruth Treese. Yes. Ruth Treese. Yes. David Fournette. Yes. John Gregg. Yes. Richard Handelsman. Here. Yes or no? Yes or yes. no? He doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. John Hess. Yes. What are you voting? Bobby Levin. Yes. David Bowes. No. Patricia Caputo. Yes. To remove? Yes. Dominic Carnaggia. No. Tip, Tip, Fogg. Ellie Jansen. I'll be just walking in also. Hey, Stuart Richland. No. <coughs> Joanne Robinson. No. Fausto Fabro. No. Okay. You skip me, David. Joyce Reese. Yes. Yes to remove? Yes. Motion carries. Okay. Six to five. All right. I'll give my change. 
<laughs> I wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a delegate assembly. Good morning. Good morning. Here we go. In the reporter. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. You're ready? All right. Okay. You know I got about five or six phone calls from snowbirds Who's and people speaking? in Somerset area. Why are we removing the flagpole at Somerset Pool? Uh, a decision was made by the Joint Yuko WPRF Operations Committee. It was a close vote. And I, I was not at the meeting, Marianne, so I, don't, I wasn't in on the discussion of, um, of why. Yeah, that's that kind of a really, really bad move. Really bad. First of all, people here, we're all under stress for some reason or another. And then to say you're removing the American flag from a, a pool is uh, not a good look. I, I was at that meeting, Donald was not. But this is, it's on WPRF property and you should address WPRF. Let Eva know that whatever decision was made, you're not happy with it. No, we're not. And if well, it comes down to who wants to take care of it, the people in Somerset area have all voted, we'll take care of it. We'll, we'll take the money out I of our pocket. I just want you to know that Donald offered our security people to go and uh, lower the flag and raise the flag every day. Well, you don't it was have done to, before it, the vote was taken. It does have a light there that does shine on it at night, so that's okay. not an issue. But that's a w We have a lot of veterans here, I'm sure. I, know my, I have family members who have made the ultimate sacrifice for this country. Okay, I to take down the flag is not a good look. Well, not I, a good we look. agree. We agree. We have, we, Yuko has offered to maintain it, but it's on WPRF property. You need to talk to Eva. And, and address your concerns. I will, and I will all let you know what Eva had to say about our American flag. And believe me, we are gonna hold her accountable. Question. Yes. I just wanna correct the record for those of you who decide they wanna run back to Eva's office and, and uh, attack her for removing the flagpole. I watched the video, I wasn't present, but I watched the video of the meeting that you're referencing. And Eva was the one who suggested that you keep uh, the flagpole up and have security go there every day to put up the flag and bring the flagpole to, uh, flag down from the flagpole. She was not the one who voted against it. She wanted the flagpole to stay. So just wanted to correct the record. As a combat Vietnam veteran, I appreciate the flag being up there. I, w I think there should be an American flag at every household if I had my way. And that's the way I feel about it. And I think it's wrong for you guys to have taken down the flag. But you voted, your committee voted to take that flagpole down, not EVA or WP or F. So don't pin it on them. Thank you very much. Okay. Fausto. Well, Fausto. yes, excuse me. Mr. Hunt, uh, it, it was Eva, WPRF, that brought it to the agenda as a, a flagpole to be removed on their property. So, and the suggestion was made that we would take care of that for her, raise the flag and lower the flag. It was not hers. So you're giving out the wrong information and you were not there and I was. And I know how, who voted for and who voted against it. And the, the majority of the people wanted it to remain. It was one individual person that caused it to be voted to be taken down. And if there's additional rhetoric, you have questions. I spoke to Eva yesterday about this. And when she comes back into the office, you're welcome to go talk to her. And she's willing to listen. Fausto. Okay. Yes. Fausto. Wasn't it said, excuse me, wasn't it said at that meeting, did she not say that that was not no one asked permission to put it up. Someone from the building put it up. They don't know that. Was there, fla was there, there flag? There, on? I, re I asked, was there a permit issued? Nobody ever checked it. They don't know how the flagpole got up there. It's probably been up there for 30 years. I, I don't know. But it's on WPRF property and it's their control. Fausto, I was yes. at that meeting and yes. one of the big arguments at that meeting was, was there electricity to have a spotlight there? My understanding that there's electricity nearby. Right, but you guys voted on it without knowing that was a spotlight there. And that was if, a big point of contention, if, that the electricity would have to be moved. Excuse me. I, did I not say, let's find out? That was my, I brought right, that up. But you up. voted on it before finding out. And I, and I voted not to remove the flagpole. And I'm not afraid to say it. But I'm the one that brought up that we should look into it before we took a vote. And the committee decided to take a vote on it anyway. 
All right. Yes. Wayne, <clears throat> Wayne Smith, Somerset E. The flagpole. That flagpole's been there for years. I've been here 10 years. That flag has a spotlight on it so it can stay up 24 hours a day. Nobody has to take it up and down. The flag's been replaced several times since I've been here by Eva. No problem. This time, supposedly, it fell down and she decided not to put it back up. Now, why would you remove the flag pole? If you got a problem, you don't want to put the flag up, say something. And we've already agreed at Somerset, we'll buy a flag. It's no big deal, 35 bucks a year, we all have them. As far as flag poles, we put them all on our light poles. It's no big deal. But I can't comprehend why you would take down an American flag. I, I agree with you 100%. And the, the issue, the way it was presented from WPRS point of view, that it's the only pool that has a flag. And she didn't know how it got there, how long it had been there. It doesn't matter. It's I agree. With, listen, we agree with you. We're not disagreeing with you. We've done everything we can to keep it up. Voice your opinion and have it put back on the agenda for this month yeah. and, and, turn, and show up day of the meeting, the operations meeting. Come there in full force. Wave the American flag. Whatever you have to do. You guys, there's a lot of people here that think that we want this done. It was put on the agenda by WPRF and her excuse, it's the only pool with the American flag. Okay. So I would make a suggestion that you vote on putting an American flag at every pool. That's my feeling. Good. Yes, Patricia. If anyone in Century Village to include UCO needs an American flag, do not pay $35. Reach out to your congressman's office. We will get you a flag to fly anywhere you want it flown, and you go on any flagpole at any place in time.